everyone in this video i'm going to explain about uh, soya chunks uh, so it's also called as meal maker so you will be able to get this in many places in uh, even in supermarket as well as in local shops so many people are not aware how to cook this or use it across so i will give you a clear explanation because i'm using it for a long time um, in cooking in multiple dishes or whenever if needed so if this particular pick which i have got you no know, like it was the product which i was purchased initially in the year 2007 so that time it was 18 rupees now i think it cost like 50 50 to 60 rupees the big one uh, it's little different amount the uh, high uh, like mid moderate range and even you have some small uh, mini size chunks also so the main thing I'll tell you how to cook it. So once you just boil the water uh, in a pan and uh, then add the soya chunks like either 5 or 6 whatever necessary. And uh, in case if you want to uh, store it also you can once you boil this squeeze it and then uh, later you can put it in a box uh, in a container and keep it in the fridge for even like two to three days and if any other dishes if you are cooking even you can use it and but before using you have to cut it in pieces so um, so once you boil the water once the water is boiled no just add this soya chunks post that add little turmeric and little salt so that and uh, after five minutes the water might get little bit drained or if not it will be less water compared to previous one so add some more water little bit in between and once you add this turmeric and salt uh, just stir uh, mix a little bit and meanwhile uh, once in a while do a check because sometimes and it should be in a medium sized uh, vessel not like in a very small vessel many people have a habit of uh, soaking it in hot water but please don't do that it should be boiled so many videos i have seen in youtube most of them are like uh, soaking in hot water or they don't know how to use it because it will be very um, hard kind of thing and you have to boil it properly and even the flavors whatever you are trying to prepare like it can be um, um, it can be like green chili or red chili powder or spices or if it is it should be gelled with other uh, particular thing because uh, like if it is bland or if it is not cooked properly it will never taste in a nice way so this if you cook it in a right way so you can it will taste similar to meat meat or chicken so and once the uh, and yeah i forgot to tell just keep this in middle flame not in high flame not in low flame middle flame you, you have to keep it for 10 minutes and once 10 minutes just after that soak it in the cold water for two minutes or three minutes and once you soak it in cold water or normal water try to strain that in your hand and try to keep it in a container and once you can uh, strain that whichever pieces which is if you feel if you have cooked more because it expands a little bit you can keep it in fridge and use it after one or two days or within three to four days and uh, if not required quantity you can boil it and before you put it in the any gravy or any other dishes just try to cut it in some three to four pieces or three how we cut carrot so same like that try to cut it in a pieces um, and if you want you can marinate with little curd or um, red chili powder if not you can use it and uh, use it as it is so when you are frying with uh, in oil and uh, the tempering thing and once you put the onion or tomato post that you can add this uh, or once you add onion and fry for Two minutes or one minute add the soya chunks which is cut into pieces and try to fry fry that pieces nicely and you can also add other vegetables including this like broccoli or paneer or any other uh, 
vegetables like carrot or turnip any english vegetables you can add and uh, try to you can add these in uh, this upma uh, like tiffin item if you are making like mixed upma uh, vegetable upma or if not if you are if you can also put it in palav and ghee rice you can put veg palav when veg all vegetables when you just try to add this it will be nice and um, you can also add if you are add making like avalakki um, ogrene avalakki like you can even add in that as well so that it will be nice so whichever dishes which is pan fried or when you are cooking it in cooker but don't add in every dishes like don't add it in bisimbile bath and all just add it in veg palav and add it in noodles if you are making maggi noodles add it in that little bit <coughs> and uh, chinese noodles like if you are cooking normal uh, chinese noodles that, that you can add and if you are normal upma you can add and as i told you um, soup i don't recommend uh, because it won't be uh, comfortable for you to have uh, but you can try to have wherever you are replacing with vegetables you can add it and uh, meanwhile it has lot of nutrition and uh, it can be stored okay it is like a stored vegetable it comes you can treat this soya as a vegetable and it's a meal maker so try to boil it properly don't undercook it because you will it will not be good for your health okay try to cut in pieces and make sure you are uh, boiling okay once you boil this soya try to boil separately don't add in that particular water or any any other vegetable like potato or vegetable because it should be separately boiled because and the water whatever you are boiling that should be thrown it should not be used okay only the thing which is the which you are soaking that water the cold water that also which should not be used just whichever you you have squeezing it then you can re- use this soya chunks and initially it was very less amount and day by day it got increased and as i told you here so it's a tech it is actually a textured vegetable protein and uh, which is made through refining process and extruded and these chunks can be used used in vegetable or meat dishes and pe- some people also call it as a meal maker and uh, even in hotels also if you see sometimes people use but they don't know how to cook this and i preferably don't like to have uh, it in outside places because none of them are not aware how to cook this properly and meanwhile um, so these are the things like there was one sheet pamphlet which was there in long back uh, in 2007 so i've just kept it safely and till now i have that pamphlet so because of that i was able to explain it uh, rather than showing you live i thought it's easy to give a clarity in sheet uh, explained it and apart from that even here if you are able to see this can even be added in sambar but i preferably feel uh, not necessary you can add it in all tiffin items when you are preparing as i told you like uh, upet or uh, or what we tell upma or palav so these are the like biryani so if you are adding chicken or mutton including that you can even add the soya chunks because you will get that flavor and it absorbs lot of flavor and even in some of this dominos pizza also i believe few rarely they use it in the pizza as well so but uh, i personally feel it should be cooked properly and uh, you can also make gravy out of this or you can also have a side dish like how we have Uh, beans palya or how we have like normal vegetable palya or side dish so you can also make it as a dry item with onion tomato uh, this fried soya chunks separately or you can have it and you can add little dry uh, grated coconut that is fine if not as you are able to see here you can add it in uh, a curry like you can make one separate curry 
like treat it as a vegetable or if not you can mix the soya paneer and broccoli in these three combination also you can try to make a gravy or separately also if you want you can make it but few people might uh, not have that intention to eat but it, if it is mixed with other vegetable i think it's easy to get gelled and you'll not get to know and most probably it should be cut into uh, two to three pieces like layer it will be like a thin layer once you the big soya chunks which i'm telling you and uh, apart from that um, so you can if you feel that you want to have like a mince like how we have chicken mince once this everything is cooked and uh, once it is squeezed try to put it in a mixi and try to make it as a mince and you can use it like a kaima or it can be used like that also so try to make it um, and you can also boil the soya chunks uh, like without if you don't want to cut uh, also better it's better to cut in pieces and you can also cook it in the cooker as well with all the flavors like you can also boil water and uh, add this boiled soya chunks whatever the procedure which i've told you add little onion little tomato and little uh, bay leaf and uh, cinnamon uh, cinnamon and uh, red chili pieces and you can also make it like a stock vegetable stock and that flavors everything it will be inside soya and then also you can try to um, take out of the cooker and try to put it in the any of the and the whatever the stock that you can use it as soup or you can use it for anything like uh, any other dishes if and the boiled item also it will be fine either you can use it um, once you cook it separately if not you can cook it even in cooker but cooking in cooker it will take some time but you can cook it in a normal pan or kadai it is fine and uh, you also have soya flour also in supermarket so whenever you are making um, this chapati or roti so you can add uh, one fourth of the quantity or half of the quantity of soya flour to the roti uh, like how we have the ashirwad atta so in that you can add this and if my suggestion also you, you can even add a little wheat bran the powdered wheat bran uh, in that or fried wheat bran to your roti and also you can add fried uh, and powdered oats which you can only make it and that also you can add it in the uh, what you prepare for the roti so what happened it will become a healthier version so soya has pro high content of protein and uh, high minerals and vitamin content and it is excellent for growing children and it's low in saturated saturated fat and it doesn't has cholesterol and it is easier to digest low starch and it's a dioptic friendly so if you are able to see this i purchased soya flour packet once long back in 2008 that time it was 29 rupees but now it's too costly like maybe they are charging you like i'm not sh exactly sure on amount but it will be like uh, 70 to 80 rupees and even you have uh, if you want to replace paneer also you can put tofu but tofu you have to once you purchase it you have to use it immediately and uh, we have a lot of products like in soya like uh, soya milk normal plain milk is there and that you can keep it in fridge and you can use it as a normal milk uh, normal uh, milk in replacement of uh, cow's milk and uh, also flavored milk we have in soya so it, it's also there in like one liter packet which is uh, 120 rupees uh, so flavored one is nice plain one uh, you can use it for any other milkshake or if not you can mix it with some bone meat or boost and uh, not necessary to boil if you are buying that uh, uh, tinned one or the pack the one liter one which is available in supermarket and uh, don't avoid using uh, soya sauce too much uh, for any chinese uh, items just use little bit or not necessary to buy but and before we used to get soya dal also now also we have but it's not compulsion to use soya 
dal or uh, yeah soya dal was before it was there now i am not sure if it is there and soya beans so soya chunks is made from okay soya milk is made from soya beans so once it is soaked soya beans so it is being processed and we just take milk out of it but it's a very big procedure so never try doing soya milk in home and uh, with that soya milk no like either a flavored milk or if it is a uh, normal milk you can even make soya curd in home so just have a normal curd in your bowl just add full soya milk so it will form into a curd so that also you can give a try so i hope this video helps so this is the kind of a cooking vlog or some kind of nutritional tips related to soya which is familiar since uh, six, 16 to 18 years most probably and uh, previously it was used in china malaysia singapore more but now even indian people are used to it and uh, it's even used in multiple dishes so try to use this in a better way so that you can get to know uh, how well to eat and the flavors because once you eat this soya chunks the flavor it should be very nice rather than uh, because most of them they don't like this only because if if it is not cooked properly you will definitely not like it so whatever the way i told please prepare on that way it can be in your restaurants or hotels or in your home or do have a check and please share it this video to any of your cooking uh, friends or anyone so that it can even they they too can get to know and this particular product i had purchased in indranagar long back so it all like i don't think you will get nowadays this kind of pamphlet kind of slips and all in soya because it was only long back but now people are aware about how to use oats or soya and all and broccoli is also very familiar and even i would recommend people to use uh, celery as well because that is also very good for urinary tract system and it can be also used in multiple dishes and used like a spring onion same how you use spring onion please use celery also and celery is available in very rare actually it's, it's available in supermarket and so only certain supermarkets are available especially uh, mk retail and uh, this lulu mall so these are the markets which they are selling it and if you are buying broccoli uh, make sure that you are purchasing it it should be very fresh and they should have kept it in proper fridge because many people in supermarket doesn't know even how to store broccoli so broccoli also it's a replacement of how you use cauliflower please include that in your diet it definitely uh, it will help you a lot because it's a nice unique initially it was very costly now you are getting it in a very reasonable price in a lot of uh, supermarket try to uh, oh, get benefited from this products which are available there are many unique products which are available in many supermarket do have a check uh, try to get uh, these products in your home and uh, enjoy your cooking thank you all for watching this video in i'll just see you in next video thank you